We is back. We is back one more time. What day are we starting on again? Day 170. All right. So I want to get some kelp finally. We got a mob farm going. I can AFK at it once I light things up. But I want to start potentially getting kelp and getting some kind of furnace system going. So I know we've been in that direction. We've definitely been in that direction. So we kind of almost did a, like a 180 here. It's there and there. So I'm thinking we either go in that direction or in that direction. And I'm kind of leaning towards the mountains. Because, I don't know, I feel safer <laughs> traversing mountains versus <laughs> traversing a forest. So I think we're going to go that way. One last attempt at getting feather falling before I head out. Come on. Feather falling, please. Feather falling. Lapis. I'm counting on you to be the special Lapis I need to finally get Feather Befalling! <sighs> let's, let's go put- get a protection book at least on it. I was hoping to make a lodestone, but we have a scrap, not an ingot. I, I don't know why I thought that we had an ingot. Oh, poop. Poop. Oh, oh well. I have the coordinates of this place. So it's fine. It's fine. We just, just don't take the compass because it's pointless, I guess. Uh, we are taking two buckets though with us because that is going to be very useful. Okay, so if I go off in this direction, I'm going towards negative X and negative Z. So in this axis. So that way I'm going to need to start keeping track of all the directions I go. And I'm just going to go in this direction until I hit ocean. Hopefully successfully. Now... I brought, bring beds, compass, two water buckets for infant water, stack of building blocks. I think I have an infinite bow. I'm just going. We're just doing this. Is this a good idea? No. No, it's not, probably. I kind of brought two so I can do this, potentially go down the mountain using water, but this is a very, very steep drop. Oh. I'm all... Uh, even with the water! <laughs> Why'd it have to be so steep? I want to try going in that direction instead. Go a little further down and then use the water bucket. It's supposed to help me, not... <laughs> give me a heart attack. So, on one hand, I kind of want to get a sampling of dark oak. Or three. On the other hand... I... It's probably pretty dark under there. So... Oh, you know what I need to do? I should get a boat. I'm going towards an ocean, I didn't bring a boat. Oh my god, how did I not make a boat before I headed out? What, what, what was I thinking? I completely forgot that you get mushrooms from these. I thought it was just the blocks or nothing without silk touch. Um, but you get mushrooms. So we now have red mushrooms, which is what we need to make... ...potions, right? Because we're gonna get spider eyes. So we get the regular mushrooms here. And then we start growing them, and we just need to find a brown mushroom one. And then we're good. Beautiful mushrooms. Oh, I'm so glad we decided to go in this direction. Oh, I was real worried about how we're gonna get it. Mushrooms, how long does it take us to get some? But now, we got both red and brown mushrooms, so we can actually start growing those once we're back. I think we just found it. That looks like a large body of water. Right as the sun's going down. Okay, there we go. I actually managed to find, and it wasn't that far. Look at that, 35, negative 75, okay. I think we went about maybe 2,000 blocks, and there's a ravine between us. Why is there a ravine between us? <laughs> Don't hold me from my ocean. <laughs> I want my ocean ravine. You're not stopping me, I'll walk around. Ocean has been acquired. So, I need to go and get some kelp. Why is there no kelp around here? Uh... Kelp? Kelp? No, that's tall sea grass. Oh, is this- is this still considered to be... That's some light sources. Ooh, is, is that a... No, I don't think it is. I think it's just some sea pickles underneath. Ooh, maybe not. Oh no, it is a... Nice! Nice! Oh, this is pretty. 
I'm, 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 excuse me? Do we really just find the Holy Grail? Do we? Do we just find the Holy Grail? These are so rare. I'm sorry, 2,000 blocks away from us <laughs> was the holy grail of half hard hardcore bases? I'm so- <laughs> Uh... I guess we're moving. <laughs> what in the- I, I would never in my life would have dreamed that we'd find a mushroom biome. What? <laughs> What the heck? That's a pretty large island too. Wow. Uh, and there's a coral reef that I finally remembered what it's, what it's called. How do I move here easily? <laughs> How do I bring everything I have here? And villagers, what do I even do with the villagers? I'm not trekking them 2000 blocks through mountain ranges. Look guys, we found what we were looking for, kelp. T totally very important now. Now now that we're here, it is <clears throat> very important. And it's, come on, like we have a nice view out here too. Like this is Ah, this is so nice. Yeah, okay. We're gonna need a way of getting there. I could go back and make another uh another tunnel. Distance wise, that is the best options. The question is, is it the safest option? I think we take the coordinates here. Go back, the way we came to the village, get obsidian, to build a, a portal to come here. And then we make a tunnel in the nether, and hopefully be able to slowly transfer villagers and anything else we need between the bases. That is probably my best way of doing it. Like a ruined portal. That is all kinds of good things. Especially since I'm gonna need, actually, some obsidian right now. I hope there's obsidian in the chest, and then we're probably going to need to mine up the obsidian that's there. Because we actually need some for a portal. I don't think I have enough for another portal. Ooh, okay, I hear skeletons. Um... I really don't like this. I'll be honest. I'll be real honest. Hold on, hold on. You. You. Dirt. Just... Yep, yeah, there's just lots of mobs around here, it seems. Um, respiration, no. Well, I don't need the nuggets, don't need that. I'll take... Like, there's nothing here that I... Uh, this is interesting. Uh, I don't like the fact that there's so many mob sounds around here. I'm getting out of here. Nope. I was gonna mine the obsidian, but no longer am I gonna mine the obsidian. Nope, just, no, it's not happening. Not with so many zombie and skeleton sounds around here. Absolutely not. It's there. We almost have made it back fully. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's just not die on the last little trek here. And then... We'll be fine. All the way down. Run! Home sweet home! Oh. Home sweet home. We made it back from the holy grail. The holy land. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! I gotta go mine some obsidian, oh boy. And then we're going to make a nether tunnel, and all of a sudden... We gotta move. <laughs> we gotta move everything. Our farms. Uh, I'll probably need to AFK at this just a little bit. I mean, I don't even know if I wanna... <laughs> I'll have to build a new one. I'll have to be a new build one of those. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're back in the town. <laughs> Guys, we're back! How's he again in here? What the- how do you get in there? I- the only way I can think of that you get in here is black magic. That is for sure. I have enough obsidian now. So my guess is I now go to the nether. And I start digging towards where I need to be, and making a tunnel. I think that's- I mean, that really is the best way to do it. 
And then once I want to get the villager through, I'm gonna just need to boat him into the portal and then continue boat him all across. The place we need to go basically is out in the open. And it's above another fortress. Uh, well, you know, I guess the Holy Grail location is also uh, next to a another fortress. So on one hand, that's nice. On the other hand, uh, not so nice. At this point, there's not much I can do except to actually build out and build a roof and continue the journey to where I need to go. We just have to uh, be very careful right now and hopefully there are not going to be any gas, not any blazes and things of that nature that will just absolutely wreck my face. Um, you know, the trek to the Holy Grail is a dangerous one, and I think it's fitting. So, you know what? It's fine. We continue on. Death around every corner here. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, it's on me. <clears throat> on the list of things I don't want to deal with, guests. Gas are definitely there. So far, I've been shot at by a gas and almost got hit by a blaze. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a blaze spawner over there too. Um... Oh, why isn't this easier? Oh... Uh, okay, okay. I could go higher, right? The problem is getting the villagers up on stairs is a difficult thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a blaze there. I saw it. There's just blazes all around because we're over another fortress. You know, on the times uh, the, uh, oh. of all the times, I don't want another fortress right now. I don't. <laughs> there you go. Um. <sighs> there it is. I was holding shift. I was holding shift and I just fell off. I don't know why. <sighs> we found the Holy Grail. We found the Holy Grail. And this is what happens. I made it quite far. In the world. I made quite far. We waited to day... There it is. I'm back. Uh, what day is it? Uh, day 180 is what we made it to. <sighs> 180. And we found the Holy Grail. We got a good setup going. And Dart... Darn Pinky Shift Finger... Failed us. <laughs> Oh, it failed us.